Hey everyone, I'm Paul Kassab. I'm a story artist here at Like a Film Creative, and today we'll be drawing Stick from The Wishing Tree. So Stick is the companion uh, of Yara. He's really like his right-hand man. He doesn't really go anywhere without Stick. And when you watch The Wishing Tree, you'll find out that there's quite a, an endearing story behind the character of Stick, who in itself, as the name implies, is this inanimate object, you know, that in the real world doesn't really have any sort of personality, but for our film, we wanted to give this very basic object, a stick, a personality. So the first thing we want to do is, is create the general shape. So it's not a perfect rectangle. It's actually got a bit more of a, a taper. So rather than looking like this, it actually has a point and a base. So it's a bit more like a cone. So now that we know we want it to be this general cone, what we can do is add a bit more of the intricate twists and turns of stick because they are a very organic looking character. So something I'm starting to place in here is the, the top of stick. There's supposed to be these uh, cluster of crystals, so we'll keep these crystals pretty simple. Something that's really fun about stick is that he's kind of a character in and, in and of itself. It's, it's a really basic design, but there's a lot of fun to be had in the way you know you pose him. So he's got these four beads that stick out to the side, and when we were drawing stick, we, we tried to look at these uh, little beads with strings, almost like Stick's hands and feet. So with posing Stick, you know, you might want to put him in a bit of a stance. We'll place in his eyes, which are these big, really cute googly eyes. And something you'll notice is that even in the final design, our designers chose to stick with a very, haha, <laughs> stick. They stick with a very basic shape for the eye. And then these bandages, it'd be great to maybe make a face out of them. So what if the way they wrap around Stick kind of forms a bit of a smiley face? And you'll see throughout the film is that sometimes as stick is moved around, bandages on stick sort of move around and it, it gives him a bit more expression in life. The key thing for stick's design, apart from his big eyes, is some of the colors he has. So he's got these glowing blue crystals and we might quickly add in some color just to communicate that. Again, they're very natural. They've got these like nice browns, some ochre reds, some burnt umbers, some charred sort of chestnut colors. They're very, very natural and very appealing. And it looks like he just came out of a backyard. But then on his head, these crystals, you've got these really amazing magical blue crystals and that, having that contrast is great because it just gives the character a lot more interest. And I definitely encourage when you come around to creating your own characters, look for ways you can create contrast in a character. Fantastic, so all that's left to do is to sign off. So we'll quickly sign off on stick here and place our name next to the drawing so we know that we've drawn it. Hopefully you had fun following along and for more exciting content, make sure you check out visitsanctuarycity.com.